Okay, today we're going to finish up with our bullet trap. I had several different um, people that had asked about the types of bullets that we shot here, the loads, and had a couple that were really wanting to know if we could shoot uh, four grains of bullseye and five grains of bullseye since those were the most popular. So I turned the bullet trap around and shot those all on the other end. We'll get to them here in a minute, but let's start off with the first ones I shot, which is the 3.5, the 4.5, and the 5.5, all fractional amounts of powder. We'll start off with this bottom one. Now I've turned this into quite the hieroglyphics here to keep up with everything, and I'll cover that here in a minute, but let's start with this first one. You can see my pointer. I put a steel rod in here to uh, show you exactly what the bullet has done. And this indicates how many grains of powder, three and a half grains of the bullseye powder. The bullet that we're firing with this is a 230 grain ball ammo in a hard cast lead. So on the very first one, and all these were shot at point blank range. You can see that from the muzzle flash and not very much muzzle, muzzle flash here because it burned up the majority of the powder. So. The first one we've got 3.5 grains, fired the shot from about two inches off the boards and these boards are just uh, just a, a nice light colored pine board. 3.5 gets fired, if you see a red circle that represents that it did penetrate. So we've got the first one here, board number one, board number two went through and that's what this symbol here means that it penetrated through. This gives you the direction that it's going. And then the last part you see here, if you see that black square, you see this here going that direction, you just see a dot. That means it hit that board and bounced off. So we count this first one, three and a half grains of powder. This is a minimal load on the 45. We count this one as a two border. One, two, and then a bounce off this board and it was laying on the ground. So this counts as a two, all right? The next one, four and a half grains, watch the difference. This is so, I mean, it's like it's calibrated. You'll see why here in a minute when I do the chart. Four and a half grains of bullseye powder, penetrates first board, boom, through it. One, two, see it going through, that means it went through, there's the arrow, and three, it went through three. And there's a dot there showing it went through arrow continues on and then it stops right here with the square now you'll see i've got an arrow pointed that direction i have a picture of a bullet where you can see the bullet turned sideways and that's where it stopped right there so that one is a how many boards one two three and then a slam stop and it dropped on the ground <clears throat> very well calibrated the last one is the maximum load that i chose to use the book uh, goes up to 5.7 and the powder manufacturer will allow you to go up to six grains. I don't go to max because I'd like to have a little bit of safety factor involved there. But at 5.5, we penetrate the first board, no problem. Boom, one, two, see the penetration, three, penetration, arrow shows which way we're going, four, boom, goes through the fourth board, penetration, there and then the black square and you clearly see the arrow there showing we're going still going that direction and the black square with a print of a bullet meaning it bounced off so that one is a one two three four board and a bounce off so i'm going to now turn the bullet trap around so that you can see the pet loads that everybody's really interested in and it falls right in between these you'll be shocked at how accurate this is where this was three and a half, remember one, uh, three and a half grains, one board, two boards, and then a fallout. Our four will end up being one, two and a half. You'll see what I'm talking about when I turn it around. So be right back. Okay, and here we go with the last two loads. These are by far the most popular loads that people wanted to see. So you can see these labeled here at four grains and at five grains. This is upside down because I had to flip the bullet trap to have a look. But let's look at the four grain first. Four grain goes in through the first board. I've got this going that direction. So we've got one through, number two went through, 
and then the third board it hit I've got the arrow going that way but this time I changed the symbol you've got the same black square but you've got an X meaning it is still in the board you can clearly see it there so now we count the four as a two and a half that's what it is one two and a half the board is an inch and a half uh, wide and that bullet is in it's almost three quarters of an inch long with it with the length from tip to tip it's uh, 0.65, so it's close enough to three quarter for me to call that a half of a board. So one, two, and a half boards. Now we look at the five grains of bullseye. Five grains penetrates one, two, three, and again the symbol, the arrow is going this way, meaning it got trapped going that direction. And we've got the black square with the X on it means it's penetrated in and there it is you cannot see it because it's even deeper than what you can visually see but let's review that one one two three boards and then buried up there so that's a 3.5 I found that ironic that the the ones that you're shooting a even number of grains of powder ended up being the ones that were halves and vice versa so let me show you how that came out to show you how linear this was and now how that the bullet trap is a lot more than just a bullet trap bullet trap can be used as a method of of uh figuring out how much power that your reloads have and you could use this on a 44 magnum you could use it on uh to compare do some light loads of 44 or intermediate and then your high power in this case we're doing this is all 45 ACP. Okay, here's the rest of information that goes with that. This is a 45 ACP bullet and it's bullseye powder. The bullet weight is 230 grains. So look how linear and how specific that this comes out. Our very first load was our 3.5 grains of bullseye powder. It puts you through exactly two boards and bounces off the third, so I don't count the third board all it is is just a stopper and that's it the next load a half a grain bigger these are very incremental half grain bigger four grains of powder a very favorite target load puts you at exactly 2.5 boards meaning it buried up halfway into the third board so we are at 2.5 boards the next one is my personal carry load which falls right between a light target load and a heavy military load 4.5 grains gives me exactly three boards of penetration and the bullet turned sideways and bounced off the fourth board. So that's plenty enough to get the job done on a bad guy and still not be held uh, responsible for super big over penetration that you're going to have with uh, what would be a full metal jacket copper bullet that uh, most of the military used and they were they were not concerned about over penetration they wanted lots of penetration as a civilian you're in a you're in a different camp so the next load is again a very popular most people consider this to be the equivalent of the gi ball ammo five grains of bullseye gave me exactly 3.5 boards meaning it went through three and buried halfway up in the fourth board, giving you 3.5 for penetration. And last, definitely not least, is my maximum that I went up to. 5.5 grains of the bullseye powder went through exactly four boards and bounced off of the fifth board, fell upon the ground. So I thought that this was pretty cool that with increments of exactly half a grain of powder, you got to watch on the boards exact increments of half boards 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5 and 4 so the bullet trap turned out to be quite the calibrated method of checking the power level of the 45 ACP I thought that this might be a little bit more interesting than just shooting uh, through a watermelon and water bottles and uh, jello Jello. If, if you're wondering why I don't use Jello, uh, FBI ballistic gel, that is made to see the performance of a hollow point bullet, to see if the hollow point will expand and see if they can talk you into spending two dollars a pop for bullets. And they 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 didn't get me. They didn't get me on that. 
I build this round right here. My bullet is 16 cents. I got uh, about eight cents on the primer and about four cents worth of powder. The brass I count as zero because I've shot it plenty of times. I am below 25 cents for a round that will definitely take out any bad guy that you want to throw. So you might have to shoot more than one time to get him to go all the way down. My magazine holds 15 rounds uh, in one and 18 rounds in the second one. So that's, that's plenty of rounds with 45 ACP. I'm completely sold on just go ahead and use ball ammo for me, especially with our Bidenomics. I, I'm just not going to spend $2 for a special magic uh, bullet that's uh, going to expand. It may expand, it may not expand. I don't have to worry about it with ball ammo. It doesn't expand, but it's already big. It will penetrate as much as you want it to penetrate. If you need more penetration, now watch this carefully. If you're a target guy and you're shooting paper plates, that's your target round. And it's still going to go through two boards, which would take care of a lot of problems on the farm. Uh, I mean, it just would. But if you need more penetration, stay well within your book specification. Use your book as a guide. Don't, don't just go by my load. Prove it out in your reloading book. That's what's going to be held uh, responsible for your, your final data is your book. But these come from a book. Use your book to verify what you want. But the more powder that you add up to a certain point, the more boards, more penetration you're going to get. So I thought that this would be a good way to, to check this out and prove it. And I hope you find this useful. Please tap that little like and subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one. Next time you see this, it's going to have some gasoline involved and a 44 Magnum. And we're going to do a burn down, finish the uh, bullet trap off with the Destructo. So thanks again for watching. Over and out for now.